what's good y'all welcome back to another episode you already know we're gonna keep these videos coming each and every day let's get right into it in this video she speaks about how the new earth is here and how we shifted into 5d make sure you watch it to the end and let me know what you think in the comments below the shift has manifested y'all like we have now ascended physically our physical realm is no longer 3d it is 5d and um, that's the only frequency that it will support right now, 5D and above. And I'm not even lying to y'all. If you are neglecting your spiritual health, your physical health is going to be affected, period, point blank. There's no way to get around it. There's no way to cheat it. There's no way, none of that. We are being forced to evolve and ascend and do the work. And if you want to be hard at it, and you want to be, you know, and you want to choose not to do that. You want to slack and you want to, you know, do other things to to serve that lower self. Because if you ain't serving your higher self, you're going to be serving your lower self, right? Mm. Very true. You are going to feel the effects of that physically. You're going to feel lazy. You're going to feel tired because you're not going to have energy. Because you're vibrating too low for the planet now. It's real. This is what everybody's been talking about. This shift that's happening. There is a new earth and we are existing on it right now. And if you are still vibrating low, especially for those of y'all who identify as a star seed or you identify yourself as a spiritual, a spiritually gifted or a spiritually inclined person, and you choosing, because you have a responsibility here that you've placed on your, your higher self is placed on you, which is like you placing it on yourself basically. But you have a higher responsibility since you do have these gifts and these abilities and, you know, these perceptions so you know you're gonna feel it and i, I know this personally because i've been feeling it i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'll be transparent with y'all i haven't been doing the work on myself the ways that i need to i've been slacking in a lot of different areas a lot of different ways you know i had a routine for myself that was serving me very well that was serving my higher self you know working out fasting um you know journaling meditating yoga the whole nine i've been slacking on all that and it's been i've been feeling that too um, I haven't been eating things that I need to be eating, you know, um, and I've been feeling that, um, just feeling low and you're going to feel it physically. Now it's not just spiritually. You're going to feel bad or have a guilty conscience. Like, well, I need to do this. No, you're going to feel it physically. Like you're, my body has been feeling very tired, super lazy. And I'm not a lazy person at all. Like that's nowhere in my character. If anybody knows me, but I've been feeling lazy. I haven't been having energy to sustain my life. Y'all it's real. This planet cannot sustain that type of life force anymore you're going to feel the effects you're going to have either headaches or aches body aches cramps pain stomach aches and abdominal pain um your gut you know you need to cleanse you listen to your body because your body's alive and it's talking to you just like this earth is and if you're not vibrating you got to be vibrating on the on at least the same frequency i truly agree because it's like as soon as you get to eating like a little messed up for like like this is like a couple days eating messed up you start filling in your body and all that. You know, you get a headache. You can barely be in the sun how you want to. Like, yeah. That's why you gotta really stay up like on your um vibration right now, for real. It's, it's definitely gonna affect you, for sure. You're gonna feel it. Falling icicles have been known to impale people underneath them. And this happens because of the way icicles form sharply as water drips and refreezes. Since the tip is narrow, it cools and freezes rapidly, maintaining its pointed shape. And if the point is sharp enough and the icicle is heavy, they could cause severe injury or worse. Falling icicles have been known to impale people underneath them. And this When we look here, we're looking at the colon. When we look at the cheeks, we're looking at the lungs. Looking around the mouth is the sex organs. Sides of the mouth are the kidneys. And your tip of your nose is your heart. If you have acne or skin changes in these areas, it means you have problems with these specific organs. If you're left-handed, mm. your right hemisphere dominated. You need to analyze more. If you're right-handed, your left hemisphere dominated. You need to see the bigger picture more. Hands are a manifestation of your brain hemispheres. Christians pray like this, not knowing they are engaging in ancient forms of meditation to balance the two hemispheres of the brain. When your two hemispheres work as one electrical system, you can unlock your consciousness and 
have out of body experiences. If you have a chin like this, you're a mouth breather. You need to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. This will affect the structure of your face. Every body part has a consciousness of its own, which means they think. If you are over sexual or overeating, you are thinking with the lower body parts, which is hell. You need to think with the higher mind, which is heaven. Hence why Michelangelo put God inside of the brain. Study the book of wisdom to gain more understanding on yourself and the universe. When we look here, we're looking at the colon. I know you guys heard about the, the storm in Houston, but you guys seen how it started. Check this out. Look how dark it gets, y'all. Look, look, look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's like God just turned off the lights, y'all. It's like God literally turned off the lights. And this is what happened. Look at that. Just literally a few seconds later, this is the... It doesn't even like come up as dark as it is. Oh, there we go. That's scary. <laughs> so that's really the darkness of it, y'all. Nobody was safe from this. Check this out. Look. So not only Houston was getting bad weather, but Dublin, Texas was also getting it, y'all. Look at this cow, this poor cow getting pummeled by hell. Now check out these huge buildings, y'all. Look at this. Look at what the hell did to these buildings. N torrential rain, non-stop rain. Look at what the hell did to these buildings, y'all. Look at that. Remember this cloud that was just seen in Texas two days ago? And then I know you guys heard about the storm in Houston, but you guys seen how it started. Check this out. Look how dark it gets, y'all. Look, look, look at this. Oh, bro, it's getting dark. But you can't see it on no, camera, but it's getting fuck? dark. Oh, it's coming right over. But the solar, solar eclipse. Y'all remember that? If you know, you know. Damn. This is crazy. This shit is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look how dark it's getting. That's fuck. Oh, my God. It's so fucking windy, dude. Holy shit. Oh shit. That's crazy. That wind is fast. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my God. When you go to court, they're bringing you in, they're summonsing your name, your corporation. That's very, very, very presumptuous of them because they're assuming that you don't know that you are the sole beneficiary and shareholder of your trust. So unless you rebut that, they're going to send you to prison, they're going to fine you, they're going to do whatever, whatever they want. So you need to let them know soon enough. I'm here by special appearance to uh, have the case dismissed against my corporate name. Who in this courtroom is um, in breach of trust? By whose authority do you use that name as personal identification? We need to reclaim dominion by taking control of that trust. The trust is there and we can do that in a very, very simple way, writing to the Attorney General and telling them that you've arrived on the scene and you no longer need their services to administer that trust. It's breach of trust for them to do it anyway. They're getting away with it because we don't know about it. It hurts when you, when you understand what's going on in this world. It needs to be fixed. We want a better world. We all want love and peace and justice and all those beautiful beautiful things we can go and visit each other and play our musical instruments and drink tea and love life and all the beautiful different people black and white and tall and skinny and everything we're all here if you are looking for the knowledge that has been hidden from us that explains how actually powerful you are this ebook will literally unveil that for you and ye shall know the truth and truth shall set you free what did Meek Mill say? But if we get paid to rap about that stuff, they actually pay us more when we rap about more ignorant stuff, so I make sure I... So they're told to push a certain narrative, right? Now why would they do that? Seems like Ice Cube knows why. Recently, he was on the Club Random podcast, and this is what he said. Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the mm. same people? Literally the same people. It, it seems really suspicious, if you want to say that word. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. I mean, us conspiracy minds already knew, right? I did a video on this last year. And it must be well known in the industry. Listen to what Takashi says. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't, you can rap yeah, way yeah. better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is rigged. It's rigged. 
And Tupac must have been presented with this information back then, because look at what he says about the future of rap. Listen. Shit, I don't know. It depends on his balls. You know, if he's got big nuts like me, it's going to get way harder. But shit, if he's got little nuts, it's going to start getting back to a different type of rap. You know what I'm saying? Partying and f***ing and all of that type of shit, because that's what we talk about when they don't let us talk about what we really want to talk about. What did Meek Mill say? But if we get paid to rap about that stuff, they ask I know I ain't catch you stressing when it's your birthright to thrive on this planet. You was born with abundance. You better, you better walk like you know who you is. You know what I mean? You royalty. You are a reflection of nature. You are born to thrive. Everything in nature is thriving. It's, it's only the, 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 the bullshit that they throw at you. You feel me? That's, that's hindering you. But you are born abundant. You know? Look, go in your mind and fulfill yourself with your desire first. And your life is going to reflect. You know, you got that spiritual abundance, family. You got to embrace it. You got to walk with your chest out. You feel me? You can have anything that you want in this life. I promise you. Very true. I love you. I know I ain't catching It's literally our birthright to, like, to live free on this planet and have whatever we want. So it might take a little time, but you can have whatever you want. Remember that. Water only fasting can change your life. When you do a 72 hour water fast, your body goes into ketosis. Your brain starts using fats for energy instead of carbohydrates. You start losing weight, but also you start becoming very, very clear. Now in 72 hours, you can also go into autophagy where your macrophages in your body start eating up all of the dead junk and garbage in your body, cleaning up your body. And some people, when they do prolonged water only fast in a contained environment, they can start reversing hypertension, diabetes, and even cancer. And I witnessed this at True North Healing Center in Santa Rosa, California. Try water only fasting to change your life. Jesus, water only fasted elijah water only fasted and after their 40-day water fast the miracle started to flow hmm. how many of how many of you know um, do a water fast you know without you know you didn't know that how many of y'all think y'all can do that and are you willing to do that <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna skip this. A UP being crazy. chosen has absolutely nothing to do with arrogance, being egotistical, or superiority. Yes, there are people with favor from God who have a higher spiritual rank than others. And just because you don't like it does not mean it's not the truth. Let's unpack it. There is no other area in life where you can put in significant work, time, hours, blood, sweat, and tears and be on the same level as people who are just getting started in that field. People who play basketball, they put in hours on the court developing their skill do you mean to tell me a person that just picked up a basketball is a greater player than them does that make them a better person than them because they are a greater player no it's the same thing with spirituality because i put in the work and the time to grow and evolve does not mean i'm better than you i'm better than me but that does not discount the fact that I have favor from God, that God is flowing through me and using me as a vessel to spread enlightenment and light and love. Everyone is true. not chosen. Everyone did not decide to wake up. So mm -hmm. yes, there are chosen ones and whether you like it or not, we out here. Being chosen has absolutely nothing to do with- <laughs> You right though. Whether you like it or not, we out here. That's real. Summer is officially here, and there's no better way to kick it off than with this refreshing and delicious watermelon cucumber salad. This vibrant salad is sure to be in heavy rotation all summer long. Let's get into it. We're going to start by slicing into a big old juicy watermelon, and baby, I got a seeded watermelon, okay? <laughs> we're going to cut it into smaller pieces, and then we're just going to cut the actual watermelon out. Of course, we're going to eat some, and then we're going to cut it into chunks like this. And what is a watermelon? salad without a gorgeous yellow watermelon i'm gonna go ahead and follow the same process by cutting this into chunks and then we're gonna go ahead have y'all ever had um yellow watermelon have y'all ever had that i have tastes like i wouldn't even i would say it tastes like a pineapple 
mixed with watermelon. That's what it tastes like. Add and cut into a cucumber just like this. All the colors of this was just making me so happy. Then we're gonna thinly slice a red onion, add that in, and we're gonna roughly chop some fresh basil and some fresh mint. Go ahead and add that in as well. Add a little bit of avocado oil, some sea salt, some fresh lime juice. Go ahead and squeeze that in, and then we're gonna add in some crumbled non dairy feta. Mix everything together, and they. B. Go ahead and drizzle a little balsamic glaze on top and welcome to your new favorite summer oh, salad. Gosh. Now get in your kitchen and make this too. When we look here, we're looking at the colon. When we look at the cheeks, we're looking at the... Peace and love, family. As I'm out in the community, I hear a lot of people going vegan, going alkaline, going breatharia for these diet trends. But I need you all to understand your blood type. Start eating for your blood type. Understand your cellular makeup. That's why my new book, Cellular Health 101, is so important. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Now, I don't know how back then we didn't catch the diddler and his diddiation adventures back then. But fast forward to 2024 and it's making sense. There's no way on the face of this earth that he should be that happy that this man is rubbing his meatballs on his crown chakra. Like the way that he's looking up, absolutely indidious. Like why is he biting his lip like a big back end off a two day fast in the Gola Corral line? We gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they just caught him on a bad shot. Nah. Because the freak deliciousness of his aura is literally radiating through his teeth right now. Like the facial expression that he's making is equivalent to a quagmire giggity. Like how did they go from a dunk contest to sightseeing? Let's run this back for the people who didn't see it. But you know, game, I, I could be tripping. I could be tripping. It could just be me. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this in the comments. What? This is how I know this shit is about to come to an end, y'all. Do you even know what you're looking at right now? This is the rarest animal in the world, stamped. This is called the Creodactus. This just appeared over in the ocean a week ago. And I'm telling y'all, this is not supposed to be out in the open just like this. And remember, I've been telling y'all, I said, yo, something's going on with the ocean orcas, the whales, even the dolphins, every sea animal been telling us there's some shit going on. We're not supposed to be looking at this right now, y'all. Y'all think it's a game. Y'all think I've been playing around just bullshitting, right? You can go on Google and look it up yourself. Very rare. And another thing, the ocean is horrifying. That John, dumb scary, yo. Not gonna hold you. The fact that the planet is like 90% water means that our big ass continents is nothing compared to the undersea life. What I kept telling y'all is people under there. Oh my god! This is how I know this shit is about to come to an end, y'all. Viral video claims to show the body of Gilgamesh, the ancient king of Uruk, what is that? discovered as the Euphrates River dries up. The video presents what appears to be a mummified king adorned with ancient relics and jewelry. However, this video is claimed to be a hoax. The footage features a mannequin dressed to resemble a mummified figure, complete with fake artifacts. This particular hoax is reported to trace back to a 2008 incident in Iran, where a similar fake royal mummy was discovered and later debunked. The mannequin used in both instances is remarkably similar, suggesting a recycled effort to perpetuate the myth. Why are so many people convinced by this? Is it something in the cadaver's expressionless face? Could this actually be a well-preserved Nephilim body? This is why you need to talk to yourself. And they discovered that speaking out loud positive affirmations about yourself for 21 days straight, speaking three to six times a day, speaking over your own life, in 21 days, your DNA begins to rewrite its own code. You can rewrite your own DNA. And so that's just the beginning part. So journaling, writing, uh, writing down your affirmations, speaking your affirmations, that begins the process of changing the way that you, your, your body is expressing genes. You can turn genes off just through actual speaking of affirmations. And then when you get into a situation when you realize an old emotion 
that doesn't fit with the situation is coming up, you have to check yourself and catch yourself and then send your brain to think of something positive. Think of something great. Think of a blessing that you have. Think of something that's good going on in your life or think of previous things that are great in your life. For just 15 to 20 seconds, it turns off the negativity and puts on positivity and then you move forward in that direction. It's called brain heart coherence. So these little tips and tricks which I teach all the time give people the capability of maintaining their brain heart coherence, moving forward in the right direction and bypassing a lot of negative thoughts. Like uh, Dr. Almond calls them ants, automatic negative thoughts. What's the difference between positive thoughts and this? So I just seen this crazy video of a car that was attacked by a bear. <laughs> but a bear? You need to call Sammy Dean Winchester because this here looks like there was a werewolf who just ate his dinner. And just peep how deep the scratches are. And it's a simple remedy to this problem. A812 switches bear. with silver bullets. And you can go and eliminate night strolls in the park on full moons. You know, unless you want to get caught in the scene of Vampire Diary. Real life edition. You know, 3D. You get the full experience. You really feel like you're inside of a movie. Even though that might be the last movie you ever see and get turned into werewolf treats. But hey, one thing we do know is this was not a bear. But I'm curious though, what y'all think about this bear attack? Was it a mystical creature or was it a bear? And don't forget, comment down ATM below if y'all want the sauce on how to make money off of being a content creator. So I just seen this crazy video. It just made me think about something though. Like we are in the third dimension, so we only can see what like what's coming out of these eyes you know and we can we can't see like the, the spiritual realm and it's just crazy like i want to like with this physical realm ever like like come together with like the other dimensions y'all ever do y'all think that will happen eventually or this is gonna always be like a physical plane of existence I don't know. I'm probably just thinking too much. Think too hard right now. This is my ultimate neuroscience-backed morning routine for a healthy and productive mind and a regulated nervous system. I call this routine the three M's. The first thing I do every single morning is go outside and get sunlight in my eyes. Morning sunlight boosts dopamine and it sets a biological clock for melatonin release at night, which helps to regulate our circadian rhythm and improve sleep. Special note that I do not go on my phone yet. I combine this first step with the first M, which is mindset. This is because when you first wake up in the morning, the information that you consume is what you are programming your brain with. So while I'm outside, I do my morning intentions and affirmations. The second M is movement. Morning workouts are key, especially if you have ADHD like me. Exercise boosts dopamine, norepinephrine, and endocannabinoids, which gives you focus, energy, and a boosted mood for the rest of the day. Recently, I've been doing flow workouts on the open app, which combine breathwork, movement, and mindfulness. And finally, the third M is mindfulness. Meditation has an extensive list of health benefits as well as boosting focus and productivity. I'm currently doing a meditation series on the open app that I am obsessed with called seven days to genuine love the app also has tons of other really cool meditations like this one on neuroplasticity and being in awe which if you didn't know is really good for the brain if you can't tell i'm kind of in love with this app so if you want to try it with me you can use my link it gives you 30 days for free which is plenty of time to explore and feel the benefits the link will be in my bio this is my ultimate neuroscience backed red dragon fruit is so beautiful it's tangy it has a perfect amount of sweetness you know what let's make a dragon fruit toaster pastry and for this recipe i use samazon dragon fruit cubes and it pairs perfectly with mango lime a little maple blend it up together and now we have our filling did you know samazon products are organic dairy-free, vegan, and non-GMO. Now back to the recipe. I added the filling to a pie crust, put it in the oven. I added some blue butterfly pea icing with lemon and lime zest, and we got a straight masterpiece. Red dragon fruit is you be so hooking good. it up, man. I ain't gonna watch it. He be hooking it up. I was walking down the street minding my business, and the black man shouted at me. He said, you beautiful. You beautiful. I said, wow. Wow. I was walking down the street minding my business and the black man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was too close. Too close. 
Jones. Oh man. Do you understand how close that was? Like, dude. All it took was one wheel. Oh man. I'm so glad that didn't happen. For real. Don't listen to anybody. Don't even no, listen to me. You already know what you need to do. It's in you. It's talking to you all the time. You downplay it because you think you're not experienced or you, you know you're not experienced, so you're scared to listen to yourself. But you know you. Your soul knows you. And that's what you're listening to in your head. Trust it. Trust your gut. Go with your first instincts. You can't lose. Words are life. Speak things into existence and create your universe. Protect yourself with your words. The universe is listening. Don't listen to anybody. Don't even listen to me. You already know what you need to do. It's in you. It's talking to you all the time. You downplay it because you think you're not experienced or you, you know you're not experienced, so you're scared to listen to yourself. What about love? If he makes you feel this way, he's the one. If he does this for you, he's the keeper. And the reason why women were never taught that is because it takes women out of their comfort zone. And we've always been taught that relationships should, should always center around the woman. This is a very dangerous ideology because it neglects the importance of respect for the man. Respect builds trust. So if you don't respect him, he will never trust you. Love, on the other hand, is a feeling of affection towards someone or something. This is why you can love a car. You can love a house. It's an emotion. And like all emotions, it can be very fleeting. It changes. Respect, though, is accepting someone for who they are, even if it means that they're different from you and you don't always necessarily see eye to eye. Respect is accepting someone for their own individuality. It's very rare that a man is accepted for being a man, and that's why respect to a man is essential. Contrary to popular belief, love is not an action word. I can love my car and still get rid of it. I can love my home but still sell it. The same way a woman can claim that she loves you but still cheat on your ass. I, but I can't claim to respect you and treat you any kind of way. Because if I say I respect you, that means that I have, I now have a moral obligation to treat you right and do right by you. And this is why. I a lot of women can blatantly disrespect a man but still claim to love them. When you love someone, you're operating out of a place of emotions. But when you respect someone, you're operating out of a place of pure acceptance. They were taught about to drop the mic. Got a point. This is how your life can change. And as we're digging through here, we're trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm not sure if this is a sinkhole to China or what. I think I see something. Oh my. Is this the USA? <laughs> and as we're digging through here, we're trying That water looks beautiful. I can't lie. Oh, nah. I look amazing. The problem isn't a lack of money, food, water, or land. The problem is that you've given control of these things to a group of greedy psychopaths who care more about maintaining their own power than helping mankind. The problem isn't a lack- That is so real. That is so real. And they are sociopaths. I don't care. They're psychopaths for sure. Definitely psychopath. Like, come on, y'all. Really? We, we live on a- We was born free. You mean to tell me? Y'all don't just keep doing this forever? Nah. So I had a taste with some sweet and made this strawberry lemonade sorbet. It's like the perfect snack for when you want something sweet, but you try and make that back small. You feel me? Let me show you how I made it. We gonna toss some frozen strawberries into a food <laughs> processor, slice up a small. lemon, freshly squeeze the juice, and pour it in. Then I drizzle some honey on top and let the food processor mix it up. You will have to scrape down the size periodically while you're mixing it, and this is optional, but I also recommend adding in a little bit of water to give it some moisture. Mix for a few minutes until our sorbet is smooth and has a good consistency. Transfer it to a freezer safe dish and freeze until it reaches your desired texture and enjoy. So I had a taste with some sweet. A distracted person will only cause you more distractions. It's okay to love people, but when you're dealing with a person that's distracted and they not on their purpose, they gonna only cause you to not be on your purpose. I love you all. Don't let that go over your head. A distracted person. Food actually can make you think certain kinds of thoughts. S refraining from certain kinds of foods will actually make you have a different disposition, even change the nature. People that eat a lot of meat, Watch out now. 
People that eat red meat, blood running out of it, make mine rare. They are like the beasts. God gives animals the teeth to cut meat, and they cut it and they pull it. You don't have teeth like that. Some of you may be trying to get some like that. You don't have teeth like that. Your mouth is not made for that kind of eating. This is true. The more you eat meat, you become of the same spirit of those animals that eat meat. You become more warlike. So the meat-eating nations of the earth are really the warlike nations. Those vegetarian nations of the earth and those that eat uh, 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 life from the sea are more peaceful. There's something about food that shapes sometimes the way you think. When God wants to make a people for his glory, he must change the way they eat. All right? We're dealing with food now. Well, once you start changing the way of people eat, you start preparing the vessel for something better to come into the brain. Food actually can make you think. What's good, y'all? So you've been playing with those dusty bums. That man can't afford you. He needs to stay in his tax bracket. A real man, when he sees you, the first thing he's gonna say is, do you have a man? As soon as you say no, he's gonna say, this is for your nails, this is for your hair, this is for a new outfit. Matter of fact, here's some extra money so you can take yourself to, out to eat on Saturday night. And matter of fact, here's my number as well so you can call me just in case you want me to come with you. Real men do not play games. If they want you, they're going to let it be known. They're going to take care of you because a real man love language is providing. It's the bums. Oh man, she costs too much. Oh, oh man, she's materialistic. Oh, oh man, she's a gold digger. They don't have gold to dig. It's only the broke men always complain about women wanting money real men are going to take care of you from the beginning to the end they're not wasting no time you don't have to talk them into getting you anything as soon as they realize it's a problem they're taking care of you get you a man that's a provider if he can't provide for you he can't provide for your children leave him alone pay attention how he approaches you so you've been playing with those <laughs> dusty bums that nah he real that's the one thing I want to learn how to will it for real. Yeah, I got you. Meditation can be really dangerous. Wait, what does it Aliens might be living among us disguised as humans or in a base inside the moon. What? I mean, we already knew this, though. Like, we already know that, man. We all aliens. We all, like, do we understand how many species we have on this planet? We got lions, birds. We have so many species on this planet all living at once. Like, it's crazy, man. So, aliens, come on. Like, we the aliens, to be honest. If you really want to be real. Meditation can be really dangerous. You've been meditating the wrong way this whole time. You go out there sitting in grass and you try to clear your mind. An idle mind is actually the devil's playground. Those downloads that you think you're getting may actually be coming from the enemy. Because I need you to understand this. We are at a constant spiritual war. Like literally happening as I'm speaking. And these low vibrational entities known as demons want to pull you farther and farther away from God. The Bible says you should not meditate on an empty mind, but you should meditate on the word. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Come and gift it if you need a community of spiritual people who's actually teaching the real truth. The teachings of Christ found in the Bible are the highest forms of thought. And a lot of people meditate to clear their mind from their problems instead of getting an understanding about it. Instead, you should read the word about your problems and then take that perspective from the teachings of Christ and meditate on it. You meditate on the word of God, it brings prosperity results in effective prayers it causes you to hear god's voice strengthens your faith and brings you joy and delight how was all of that possible well you're taking the highest form of consciousness applying it to your life and meditating on the teachings of christ to simply know what would yeshua would do if he was in your position a lot of y'all been meditating for years and you still in the same spot that you've been in since you started meditating this is because you meditate on an empty mind anything can be put in this mind of yours bro you just receive thoughts so instead of letting these low vibrational entities give you downloads, go read 
and then go sit in the grass. Meditation can be really dangerous. You've been meditating the wrong. All right, y'all, we're going to end that video early today. Um, we do have an action packed video for tomorrow. We're probably going to get in a cool hour for tomorrow, a cool hour, 20 minutes. So stay tuned for that. But this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure you take care of yourself. All right. And um, I'm sending peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.